Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Dead Code. In this video, we are going to learn the new feature of Playwright version 1.17. Uh, there are quite a new features like we can use the frame locator directly. Uh, we don't have to uh, switch. We can use the page.frame locator. I will make a dedicated video on this in the next video. Uh, today, we are going to learn about this static HTML reporter. So, I was always telling like Playwright is awesome. Only thing it missed is the reporting part. So, then we got the Allure and then we got the HTML report from the Playwright itself. But even though Allure or the Playwright test reporter, HTML reporter, we are not able to send that, right? So, that's not a static. That's like kind of like uh, server based uh, in your local machine. But now we have a single static HTML page and we can use that, we can zip that and we can send in a Slack or maybe mail, okay? So we're going to take a look on that. So let me show you what are the changes we have to do. So first of all, go to your package.json and make sure you have the version 1.17.0 for the playwright test as well as the playwright, okay? And then go to your config file and here I have this reporter. So already we have used this dot that is used to display in the console and a json basically we will get a json file and then this is the html i have removed the allure because we are not going to use the allure anymore so i have removed that so here we have html and here we have some optional uh, arguments as well object basically so here you can see like open so open is basically like we can say like uh, we want to always open the reporter or never or only on failure okay i'm going to give always now let's see the first uh, reporter okay so here i have a folder called report demo within that i have like uh, three tests one is the clipboard another one is github and another one is the service now api testing basically okay now let's go to our config file once again and here you can see that within the test match i have given like a report demo and then followed by star dot test dot ts so it's kind of like rejects whatever the files test file we have within this folder every file is going to execute and if I go up here, you can see that uh, we have screenshot, video and trace by default on, I have set so that I can see like all the uh, data that we are going to get from the reporter. Okay. Now let's go to our terminal and I'm going to say npm test. 2000 years later. Okay. So all the test uh, is passed. So here you can say like it passed and no failure. And here you can see like by default, it's going to open in this local host. So here you can see this is the report it's going to look like. So if I expand this first access clipboard and here you can see like before hooks, all these steps and then we'll get all the screenshot and then we'll get the trace file and also we'll get the video. So you can play this video as well. You can see like uh, the execution output basically. Okay. So that's really cool. And here we have one more video. So this file have like two browsers. So we are getting two different videos. Okay. Now, uh, we can see, of course, we know that if it's hosted in the local host, we cannot send it, right? But if you go to the report folder, so if I go back here and here you can select playwright dash report, that is the default folder where all our files are going to save. So I'm going to open that in the explorer. And if I go inside that, you can see like we have index.html. Index so if I open that, you can see like it's now local uh, file, okay? Not the local host, it's basically resides in my local disk okay so if i expand this you can see the same like whatever the report we got earlier we can see that so if i go back to this api report you can see like uh, we have some standard output and like what are the assertion we have used everything we are able to see it right now if we want to share this report then of course we have to share the data folder as well like here we'll get all the screenshot all the videos right so what we can do is we can simply uh, select this folder. We can like we can uh, add it to a zip. Uh, like we can zip this, and then I can zip this folder. Let me cut it and paste in the desktop. And then assume that this is going to be your client or manager uh, desktop. Okay. So once we extract the report, we can open this index.html, and here we can see like all the screenshots, all the video, whatever we have, we are going to get it right now. Uh, this is fine, but eventually what we are doing is manually we are trying to uh, zip this, right? But let's do it automatically. Or we are going to automate that step as well. So we cannot send only the index.html file because uh, this file internally needs this folder to store the data, right? So if I'm going to delete this folder, 
and if I open only the indexed HTML, you can see the steps. But if I go inside that, you can see that the reports and everything are missing basically, right? The screenshot, the video are missing, right? So we are going to fix that. It's going to be very simple. What we have to do is while sending, we should not send only the HTML file, but also the data file folder and the trace folder, okay? So basically we are going to do the zipping. So to do the zip, I'm going to use this AMD ADM dash zip. Okay. So copy this and go to your dependency or uh, you can install it from here. And this basically we have given like always here. So it will open every time. So it is like it will pass your console. So uh, while sending well, like for the execution, I'm going to make it as never. That means this guy will not execute of its own local host will not open so the files will be ready we can zip this zip those files okay now to zip the file i'm going to use the global teardown okay so i'm going to uncomment this line global teardown is basically like once all your test suite whatever the test cases you have all the test suites executed then this file is going to execute it. so here i have created a folder called helper and within that i have this global setup .ts file okay now let's go into the helper folder and this is my global setup.ts. It's very easy actually. Uh, once we install the ADM, ADM dash zip, we can import that. Basically it's a JavaScript library. So we are using the require, not the import. And here I'm using this full config from the playwright test. Full config basically will have like few uh, details. Like here I can say like uh, config dot and you can say like global setup, global tier down, grip, and whatever the configuration we can give, if you want to access those, we can access here. As of now, I'm going to use only the directory, okay? We already know that whatever the report it's going to generate, it will store in this playwright dash report, right? So I'm going to take the path. So to take the path, of course, you can use the JavaScript to take the path, but I think this is very easy. And also we will learn the concept of global teardown, okay? So here we have this config dot, uh, root directory that will tell us like where this entire project is from the project we'll go to the playwright report folder and here just a sysout statement just to show you like what is this is going to give us the output and here i'm going to zip that folder right so here i have like a new object and then add local folders local folders is nothing but this report path report path is basically my root of the folder along with that the playwright report folder okay so i'm going to take that folder and i'm going to make it like report.zip and finally we will write that into another folder another file called report.zip okay uh, that's it very simple and make sure you are going to export this if you don't export it it will not work okay now let's go to the config already we have this global teardown and and we have specify the path okay now let's go and run this before that i'm going to delete this existing folder anyways this folder will be overwritten all the time okay so there is no like backup things basically whenever you execute it will overwrite the uh, files okay now i'm going to run this one more time let's see what happens now so basically it will run all the tests it will give us the static html report and we are going to zip that so it will zip the static html file along with the data folder and the trace folder Okay, so the test has been completed. Now here you can see like this is my report path. We are getting this from this global tier down. That means of course our tier down is working properly. Okay, and report path is basically this one, right? So if you go to here, you can see like we have report uh, here. Let's go and open this. Within this folder, you can see all the same index file with the files. Okay, now if I go back, I have stored in the project level. So here you can select dot slash report, right? So that will be here, right? Dot slash, I mean, report dot zip. That is the file name. So here I can see that here, right? So here you can see like it is about like 5 MB. So if I open that and within that we have a folder called again report dot zip and this is the file, okay? So yeah, so instead of this, what we can do is this is here, it should not be report. It should be like uh, report the folder name and this is our file name, okay? Let me run and show you one more time. I'll just make it like a playwright report. So this is basically like your folder. So whatever the folder from this folder, whatever the files we are going to get, we are going to move that to a folder and then we'll report the, we'll write the folders along with the files with this name. Okay. Let's go and run this finally. 
okay so finally we got this one and let's go here and here you can see like we have this report.zip which is around 5 mb and if i go inside that you can see like playwright report that is the folder name okay and if i go within that you can see like all the this file uh, data file and the index.html so simply you can just uh, send this file in a email or slack or teams whatever you are going to use the mode of communication basically okay and of course we can use this file and we can directly send it email with the help of node mailer probably do let me know in the comments i will try to make a separate video on that okay so let me give you a quick recap it's very useful feature actually okay so first thing go to your package.json and make sure you are going to update the version 1.7.0 to your playwright test and the playwright and apart from that we have to go to our config file within the config file here first of all we are going to say like html and we will say like open equal to never if you set it like always then if the test is going to fail then report will execute uh, in the local host at that point we cannot see the uh, the global teardown will not work basically okay so that is the reason i am setting this to never okay and here we are going to use this global teardown where we have to specify the file and within that file what we have is very simple we are just taking the root config uh, root directory the path of the project and we are going to this folder this is like your static default folder that is generated by the playwright so you can just hard code this value okay and then simply we'll zip the file and then we can use the zip file to share to our manager or to the concerned person okay so that's it for this video there are a lot of good features released on this version like we have this trace uh, i will talk about this maybe in the next video and also the frame frame locator okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you like the video kindly share with your friends so they will also get benefit and if you have any queries please do let me in the comments bye bye take care